we uh, connected to this and in the settings uh, if I wanted to check uh, for example the status of backlash in its enable one means enabled so that's for backslash change in step mode warning if it, when it's enabled and I try to do this it gives me a warning because I shouldn't be changing step mode at all once it's set up color scheme well we can define color schemes it might be a bit uh, user friendly at some star parties uh, control the display we can turn it on turn it off and get the status that's the this LCD display focus on number of steps to move when it's double notice is changed so for example this near increases by 200 rather than 100 and when I set it back to normal notice these are the normal values uh, focus of presets so if I go to enter presets and I go and I uh, use the current position for one and make number uh, two to be 1200 and press enter and if I know that this is say the focal point of my ED80 I can go ED80 in here then click on the label and notice that it says ED80 position 1200 so now what I can do is I can tell it to go to preset 2 which is my ED80 and that should end up at 1200 which it does and if I go back to focus preset 1 which is where I was before it should be 400 and something there we go so that's focus of presets uh, jogging get control of firmware just updates this box uh, get delay after move we've covered that home position check status it won't be enabled at the moment to be open um, so that's useful to, to check that it works this is the LCD display on the controller itself you can enable it disenable it and a log file you can enable a log file if you've got issues and send it to us uh, you can log the temperature in position at any particular time the uh, motor speed now um, you can set it to fast for example but the these are trick here that you have to be wary of if you've got enable motor speed change and you, let's just go back here if I tell it to move and motor speed change enabled um, then when it, whenever it gets to within that distance of the target it's going to move to slow speed so if you were if you had that set to like 200 and you went okay well let's go 100 from here and you're expecting that to go in fast it won't it'll go slow even though the motor speed has been set to fast so the motor speed is set to fast it'll go slow and that's because motor speed change is enabled so you might you know if you just check that motor speed change status there okay so that if we get the motor speed it tells me the control is set to fast and um, check if the focus is moving no it's not and so on so that's motor speed we can reset it at any time if you wanted to do that we can s the LCD page display time controls how often the information on the LCD changes so at the moment it's changing every two seconds if I wanted that slower I could go like four seconds so now the page will be updated every four seconds um, stats tells me how many calls have been not sure how handy that is step size of course check to see whether it's enabled it is it's true and its value's been updated uh, temperature compensation so uh, this really needs to be the subject of a separate thing altogether because it's um, but a lot of a lot of the hard work can be um, automated so I'll cover that uh, in a separate uh, video uh, temperature timer so when I do temp timer and I enable this it will use whatever the update value is so currently it's set to 10 seconds so every 10 seconds it'll go out and get the temperature from the controller there's no point getting it every second I mean that's just absolutely bloody ridiculous because it's just not going to change the temperature position uh, precision is 
is uh, as listed and it should default to 0 0.25 of a degree. You can write the settings, uh, current settings in the controller to EE Prom. Uh, you can save them to a file and then restore them later. You can find out how many EE e Prom rights there were and so on. So there's quite a bit of information available from the menu. So that covers uh, virtually all of that.